The common crait, scientifically known as Bungarus caeruleus, is a highly venomous snake found in parts of South and Southeast Asia. It belongs to the family Elapidae, which also includes cobras, coral snakes and sea snakes. The common crate is known for its potent venom, distinctive coloration and elusive behavior. Here's a detailed explanation of its characteristics. So, the common crate typically grows between 1.2 to 1.8 meters or 4 to 6 feet in length. In some cases, they can reach up to 2 meters or 6.5 feet. Coloration. The common crate has a distinctive black and white banded pattern along its body. The black bands are prominent, with alternating white or pale yellowish bands. This coloration helps it blend into its environment, especially in dark areas like undergrowth or piles of debris. Head. The crate has a narrow head that is slightly distinct from the neck, which helps in identification. The eyes are small with round pupils and the snake's body is slender and elongated. Geographic range. The common crate is found across parts of India, Pakistan, Nepal, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka and Myanmar. It inhabits a wide variety of environments, including forests, grasslands, agricultural fields and urban areas. It tends to avoid open, dry habitats. Behaviour crates are primarily nocturnal, meaning they are active at night, which helps them avoid predators and hunt more effectively. During the day, they tend to hide in burrows, under rocks or in piles of debris. The venom of the common crate is extremely potent and contains neurotoxins that affect the nervous system. Crate venom contains a mixture of enzymes, including phospholipases and proteinases, which disrupt cell membranes and lead to paralysis. It can cause respiratory failure in humans, often leading to death if not treated quickly. However, despite its potency, the crate's venom delivery is relatively low because it has small fangs and typically doesn't inject large amounts of venom during a bite. Symptoms of a common crate bite include muscle weakness, difficulty breathing, paralysis and death due to respiratory failure if untreated. Antivenom is available and can be effective in treating bites if administered in time. The common crate is carnivorous and feeds mainly on small vertebrates, including lizards, frogs, rodents and other small snakes, including even other venomous snakes. It is an oviparous species, meaning it lays eggs to reproduce. Its hunting behavior involves waiting for prey to come near before striking with its venomous bite. Crates use their neurotoxic venom to immobilize and kill their prey before consuming it. The common crate is oviparous, meaning it lays eggs rather than giving birth to live young. The female lays 6 to 20 eggs in a hidden, secure location, such as in soil or rotting logs. The eggs hatch after a few months, and the young are independent once they emerge from the eggs. Though aggressive in nature when threatened, crates are often not very aggressive towards humans. Bites tend to occur when the snake is accidentally disturbed, as it is typically very secretive and prefers to avoid confrontation. The common crate's venom is highly dangerous, but fatalities are relatively rare due to its nocturnal habits and the fact that humans are usually bitten while handling the snake or by accident. Treatment for a bite includes the administration of anti-venom and respiratory support for the patient. The common crate is not currently listed as endangered, though its populations are sometimes threatened by habitat destruction and human activity. Like many snake species, crates often suffer from fear and misidentification leading to unnecessary killings. The common crate is often confused with the banded crate Bungarus fasciatus, a closely related species, due to their similar appearance. However, the banded crate has broader and more regular black bands, while the common crate's bands are typically narrower and irregular. Despite being venomous, crates are generally shy and prefer to avoid humans when given the opportunity. They are often seen in rural areas, particularly during the monsoon season when prey is abundant.